Good morning. Thank you for uh, your, well, uh, your warm uh, welcome. It's a great honor and privilege yeah, to be here. And I'm very much grateful to uh, uh, the USC Public Diploma Center for giving me such a wonderful opportunity to introduce Korea as a public diplomacy to distinguish the experts on public diplomacy. I'd like to express my sincere thanks, appreciation to uh, Mr. J. Wong and uh, Philip uh, Sid and other colleagues uh, uh, for uh, preparation of this uh, uh, seminar. It's very timely to have uh, this uh, uh, kind of uh, seminar uh, today is because uh, we particularly we have two challenges uh, uh, facing us. Uh, uh, most urgent task is North Korea nuclear uh, program. And uh, uh, this one is, uh, well, it's a long-lasting one, but increasingly growing uh, more serious. Uh, North Korea no nuclear program seems uh, uh, to be at the tipping point. So how to tackle this problem is uh, quite a serious challenge for both uh, Korea and uh, the United States. And the second uh, issue uh, for today is uh, uh, how to cope with the changing environment of uh, diplomacy. Uh, in the era of a fourth industrial revolution, uh, which will bring fundamental change to the environment of diplomacy. So uh, I'm uh, quite sure that today's seminar will provide us with your uh, wisdom and the suggestions uh, which will help tackle these two uh, challenges. Uh, so my uh, remarks uh, today uh, will touch upon uh, four parts. One is the concept of public diplomacy, the, uh, then why public diplomacy matters in Korea, then uh, public diplomacy uh, and soft, Korea's soft power. The last part will uh, touch upon future direction of uh, Korea's public diplomacy. Well, uh, what is public diplomacy? You are the experts uh, on public diplomacy, so you know uh, about public diplomacy, the concept of public diplomacy, uh, perhaps uh, much better uh, than me. To me, most appealing, very simple definition of public diplomacy is uh, to win the hearts and minds of people. Then why, I mean, public diplomacy matters in, in Korea. You know, Korea's uh, diplomacy uh, has placed its utmost uh, priority on uh, security-centered four powers uh, diplomacy, which are the United States, Japan, China, and Russia, mainly due to our geopolitical situation. However, Korea has realized that the growing necessity to implement the public diplomacy, adjusting itself to the changing environment of diplomacy, and the network digital global citizen community, in which support from the foreign public becomes necessary to reach the goal of our foreign policies. Therefore, uh, we uh, adopted uh, public diplomacy as a, an important means to achieve our foreign policy goals through uh, building a positive image of Korea and promoting a better understanding on Korea, as well as friendships between peoples of Korea and uh, other countries. Uh, we try to contribute to mobili uh, mobilizing support for Korea.
Korea's foreign policy. Well, then let's uh, have a look at Korea's soft power as means of uh, public uh, diplomacy. Well, uh, in terms of hard power, according to IMF stat statistics, Korea ranked the 11th economic uh, power in GDP, in terms of GDP. And according to GFP, global firepower also ranked 11th in military power in uh, uh, the year of 2016. And what about uh, a soft power? According to the soft power study 2017, Korea ranked 21st. As uh, you can see, Korea's soft power is relatively weak in comparison with its harder power. Nevertheless, Korea has various uh, soft power assets, such as its pop culture, uh, so-called Korean wave, cutting edge information and techno communication technology, and its achievement economic development and democratization. Values and institutions of democracy, high achievement of education, and successful global enterprises like Samsung and Hyundai uh, also served as important uh, soft power assets. Uh, you know, uh, soft power is a kind of relative concept, and its influence is different depending on the target country. Well, uh, Korea is still in its initial stage of public diplomacy. Uh, only uh, in uh, 2011, Minister of Foreign Affairs designated public diplomacy as one of the three pillars of Korea's diplomacy alongside security diplomacy and economic diplomacy. Then we expanded the structure and organization of public diplomacy within the ministry. Then we also increased our public diplomacy uh, budget. Well, uh, we allocated uh, 50 million US dollars for public diplomacy projects conducted, to be conducted by public diplomacy divisions within the ministry. Uh, Foreign Ministry has also its uh, specialized, uh, public diplomacy specialized agency, which is the Korea Foundation, and we allocated 60 million US dollars uh, for the Korea Foundation. Then in addition to Korea Foundation, Korea has other specialized agencies, uh, like Sejong Institute, uh, language uh, specialized agency, then uh, academias of Korea studies, and we have uh, Korean uh, cultural centers abroad. So uh, the overall uh, budget for uh, public diplomacy activities uh, about uh, 160 uh, million US dollars. Still, the budget is modest, and we are trying to uh, increase the volume of budget. The main progress has been the enactment of the Public Diplomacy Act. Uh, the purpose of the act is to carry out government-wide, systematic, and integrated public diplomacy activities. Then how does Korea conduct uh, the, its uh, public diplomacy in real terms? Uh, we have uh, uh, public diplomacy activities uh, in three sectors, uh, culture, knowledge, and policy. First, with this regard to culture-oriented public diplomacy, we uh, approach different countries with customized cultural events and exchanges 
utilizing certain set of uh, soft power assets appealing to a specific target country. Some of uh, our public diplomacy projects uh, invite the foreign public to actively participate. The most popular one is uh, the K-pop World Festival. And it's a K-pop and dance performance contest available for the contestants of all around the world to participate in. Just two weeks ago, I uh, participated in uh, the final uh, round of World Festival uh, myself in person, not as a contestant, but as a awarder. Uh, so I, witn was, I witnessed uh, uh, the popularity of K-pop uh, in person. It was a fantastic opportunity. The second sector uh, of our public diplomacy activities is about uh, uh, knowledge. This, uh, since um, there are many people who do not, uh, who cannot distinguish uh, South Korea from the North, and uh, some people even they don't know uh, where South Korea is located and what it is like. So we are making efforts to enhance a better and accurate understanding on Korea across the world. Uh, there are also um, those who still only think of Korean war or famine upon hearing the word Korea. Uh, in other words, we call it the Korea discount. So thus, uh, we are trying to increase awareness on Korea and correct any inaccurate information concerning our country, eventually to promote our national image as the so-called uh, Korea premium. So we are trying to convert the Korea discount into the Korea uh, premium. The third part of our public diplomacy in practice is a policy-oriented one. We have two-way com communication on our government vision and policy with opinion leaders of major countries and the international community in order to create a favorable environment uh, with regard to our foreign policy. Through uh, this kind of dialogue, we try to make ourselves better understood while we listen to uh, the, the views and opinions of others, then we try to reflect uh, uh, those on our policies as appropriate. So it's a two-way communication, like uh, today's seminar. Uh, in particular, tech to tackle the North Korean issue, we require not only cross-coordination between uh, governments, but also concerted efforts of uh, think tanks and opinion leaders of two countries. Uh, in this sense, uh, today's seminar will pave the way for such concerted efforts. Uh, taking this opportunity, I'd like to briefly mention the ROK's uh, North Korea strategy. President Moon uh, as a resolute on exerting efforts to dissolve the Cold War structure in our region and to establish lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula by reinstating the Korean Peninsula peace process. The Korean government approach to the North is firm and seeks stronger pressure against provocations while leaving the door open to dialogue should North Korea change its course toward a peaceful and a diplomatic uh, solution. Since North has not been responding to our efforts to resume dialogue and only continuing to further its provocations, we have to no other choice but to maximize the level of uh, sanctions and pressure. However, sanctions and pressure against North Korea are indeed diplomatic tools. 
They are not meant to collapse or bring down North Korea, but to bring them back to the negotiation table for serious denuclearization talks. As President Moon said, freezing nuclear program provocations will be the focus at the early stage, but the, the exit should be the ultimate denuclearization. We need uh, active interest and support from the international community to reach this goal of achieving permanent peace on the Korean Peninsula as well as the denuclearization of Korean Peninsula in a peaceful manner. So uh, I uh, call upon your support uh, to this direction. My last uh, part of uh, presentation is about future direction of Korea's public diplomacy. <coughs> public diplomacy has been evolving in its content. The evolution of public diplomacy can be broadly divided into three stages. The first stage, Public Diplomacy 1.0, the initial generation of public diplomacy is uh, a uh, propaganda type done during uh, the Cold War era. One side sale of uh, its ideology and uh, system. Public Diplomacy 0 .3, 2.0 principally aim at showing the foreign public a country's appeal through interactive communication evol involving exchanges of culture, the arts, and people. Public Diplomacy 3.0 is said to be the most evolved one and the 21st century style form of public diplomacy. One of the biggest uh, features of Public Diplomacy 3.0 activities is international contribution to the global public goods. Korea's uh, public diplomacy activities uh, uh, mostly belong to the Public Diplomacy 2.0, and uh, we, but we are moving toward Public Diplomacy 3.0. Point zero. In this regard, we integrate uh, more version 3.0 elements in our public diplomacy strategy. So Korea's, uh, um, we, our government is aiming to strengthen its global contribution and uh, to play a more active role in global agenda, including ODA, Green Growth, disaster relief, human rights, gender equality advocacy, rule of law, and peacekeeping activities. Korea achieved economic development and successfully transformed from a recipient to donor country, becoming a best example for developing countries. Uh, in that sense, we are also trying to make effort to share our experience in development with other developing countries. In addition, recently, uh, the Institute for Global Engagement and Empowerment was established at Yonsei University with a view to leading SDG Sustainable Development Goals initiatives. And the former United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon assumed the, uh, the honorary chair of that institute. So I'm confident that there is a great room for progress in Korea's public uh, diplomacy, materializing the enormous potential of its uh, new type of soft power. So I'd like to conclude uh, my uh, 
uh, AMAX by emphasizing the role of public diplomacy in further consolidating the uh, ROK and U.S. alliance. Born of uh, the candlelight rallies and the, the honest aspirations of people for greater transparency and accountability in our democracy, my government is committed to public diplomacy and our reach, both inside and outside the country, to a whole new level. Central to this effort is to assure the continued grounding our alliance in the hearts and minds of our two peoples. So we will take our alliance from good to greater together. In order to achieve this goal, I uh, call for the active and strong support of all of you here. Thank you. Thank you.